Are they ready or what? It won't be long. I'm being denied precious minutes when my daughters are here. You better not start messing them about. Go on. Debbie. She could have a great life here with her mum and Chris. Last thing she needs is you stirring it. Listen, pal. You're just the hired hand rag. So don't go telling me what's what when it comes to my family. <laughs> so Tate sent you out to sell me that, eh? Getting twitchy about what his wife might get up to, eh? <sighs> Why are you getting all dolled up? I'm not. You're only going on a picnic. Yeah, well, you like me to look nice, don't you? But I won't be there, will I? Smile, everyone. Oh. What is she doing? Probably having a makeover. What's that? This is for the picnic, and I made all the boys myself. Remarkable mm. for someone who usually finds filling a bowl with cereal an effort. Uh, Kane's waiting outside. Yes. Expect us when you see us. There's no way I'm getting in that rust bucket. What's up with it? We're going in Chris's. So we ask our daughter, eh? Would you like to go in Mummy or Daddy's jam jar, darling? For sake, you just go in his. Look, I'll get back as soon as I can, all right? Oh, hurry up. I'll ring you, see how you're doing. Madam? Remember what I said. Don't even think about trying anything on. Me, Squire. What is going on now? No. Mr. Tate is just telling us to have a wild time. Get rid of them. Sitting there all day, or what? It suits me. You used to love going up here. Oh, yeah, in your old dreams. This was our special place. Okay, and it's a bit of grass and a few rocks, big deal. There's a lot more than that. There was a lot more than that. She's living proof. Ask yourself this: When have you ever seen her so happy? Eh? Hurry up! My mum and dad. What the doc have to say then? Ever heard of doctor patient confidentiality? Yes. Sorry. Just wondered. That's nothing. A touch of high blood pressure. Would you put that down to? How do I know? Could be stress. Well, next time I won't bother with an appointment, I'll come to you for a consultation. Oh, well, it's just all this business between Kane and Debbie. I mean, it's bound to wind you up. Well, I've got better things to spend my time worrying about. Yeah, of course. Did Charity ring while I was out? Well, I'm quite happy. Nice meet you, it's Patty, actually. You know, last time we were here, you know, four pack, bag of crisps, ten fags between us. We used to wag school and come. <laughs> oh, that's right, Kane. Go on, set her a good example. No point pretending we were saints. Mm. Well, you definitely weren't. You know, Summer, I wasn't that bad then. It was after we'd split up that I started mixing about with some right bad ones. You what? Kane? You were the bad one. You were the one that kids' parents warned them away from. It would have probably been all right if we'd stayed together. I wish you had. Well, I don't. Why? Because it would have been a total disaster. Worse than what happened to you after we'd split up? Just leave it, will you? No, I want to know what you were like then. It's romantic. Oh, well, that's the last thing it was. Tell her what Shadrach used to do when he found out you'd been skiving, eh? 
Took a belch, you didn't he? Buckle end and all. Go on, tell her. He didn't, did he? How could he do that? Cos he's not my proper dad, is he? You'd never do that, would you? Some wouldn't. Oh, and that makes him father of the year, does it? Fancy you remembering about me getting a good hiding. <laughs> I knew it'd all come flooding back to you. Oh, beam me up, Scotty. What are you doing? I'm ringing Chris to see how he is. Oh. I can save you the call. He's a miserable old get like he always is. <laughs> what, you're wasting your time? Look, keep your nose out. You won't get a reception up here. So go on. What did you used to get up to then? Can't tell you. X-rated. Like Bonnie and Clyde, me and your man. Well, you never used to. What? You know, the two of you. Debbie, shut up or I'm going to go. She's embarrassed. She's got a cherry on. <laughs> but you do wish you could beam up. If you mean, would I rather be anywhere else today? You're right, yeah, I would. Can't you even make an effort for her? Look, I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, and you just told her to her face you wished you weren't. I'm just being straight with her. She's more than you can manage. I told her we'd been here before, so what? Yeah, you might as well have told her that this is where she got conceived. It was. We made love here and it wasn't just once. Look, whatever we did all those years ago, right, it was now to do with love. So why did you come today? Because eh? she kept banging on and on at me. Right. You see what happened? I'd now to do with love. Look. CD. Love CD. It's written in stone. Look, Kane. Back then, I smoked, right? And I quit. And then when I was on the game, and yes, I admit it, I wouldn't parade it in front of her. I did some drugs to get me through. And I quit them, because they're bad for you. And that's just the point with you. You're bad for people. You didn't think that back then. You love me. I quit you. Yeah. Someone else decided that for you when you got pregnant. Yeah, and now I've decided. There's nothing. This is still here. Have you got the timesheets for the Ollard Yard? Well, I don't know where Charity's put them. Well, when she phones, will you ask her? She said they won't get proper money if they don't have it. She's her. not going to phone, is she? Well, of course she will. I'll spare me the false optimism. Hey, she, she didn't want to go in the first place. Didn't she? Since when has she made up a picnic? Well, that were a treat for Debbie. Kid were made up. She wasn't going with just Debbie. Oh, don't worry about Dingle. I marked his car good and proper. Oh, great. The odd job man has had a word in the ear of a fellow barfly. Hey, hey, I'm sorry, boss. Yes, boss, of all this. At least I thought I was. My name's on the notepaper, my signature's on the checks. Seems to me it counts for nothing. And now my driver, my step and fetch it, has to intercede in my personal life on my behalf. Got room for a couple of biggins up there. I bet you never thought all them years ago you'd end up back here now. No. It's fate. Fate's for lazy beggars. Orish court readers, people too idle to get hold of their lives and change it. Well, you changed yours all right, didn't you? Catching a rich fella. Oh, I'm not knocking you. You have no idea what me and Chris have between us. Not much, I reckon. Oh, and what have you done with your life, Kane? Hey, I hold my hands up. Nout. Maybe I'm trying now, though, eh? Do you think it was fate that made me end up with Paddy and Emily? Bad luck, more like. You rotten cow. Debbie, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Oh, yeah, you did. Look, you've got to understand that this whole thing, it's complicated things for me. I reckon your mum's right about fate, you know. Maybe you have to make things happen in your life. Eh? Why well, you lost your shoe that time? Can you just leave it, please? No. He's doing the head in this. I didn't even want to come. It's turned out worse than I expected. Talk about a trip down memory lane. It was the best time of my life. Oh, and how sad is that? Oh, yeah, it's sad, isn't it? For the pair of us. Used to laugh all the time then. We both did. I mean, look at you now. What? Face like the back end of a bus. Oh. You said you never wanted it to end then. Can't deny that, can look, you? Look, I've moved on. I've got a 
a lovely home and a husband that treats me better than any man I've ever met. And you don't laugh anymore. Look, will you just tell her that we're going back now, please? But what's the rush? I've done my duty bit. She wanted this to be a really special day. Yeah? Well, she chose the wrong mum and dad for that, didn't she? Maybe. But where all she's got? Look, we are not a we. I've got my life, you've got yours, and I can do without you in mine. She just wants us to get on, that's all. Well, she's a girl that wants what she can't have. Grass is always greener, isn't it? I mean, first off, she wanted to live with Paddy and Emily, then me and Chris, and now she thinks that you're all that's missing from her life. Me and you. We've all got things missing from our lives, Kane, and most of the time, it stays missing. We just get on with it. And what's missing from your oh, life? Will you just tell her that we're going? But where is she? Debbie! Debbie! You know the truth. Yeah, I know that you're a scheme and getting what he thinks about himself. Yeah? Yeah? You're a self-centred <laughs> nomad. Good when you was a dad, eh? Yeah. Mum, don't say that. I'm sorry I made you both come. <sighs> That's all right. It's great fun, is this? Look. <laughs> you're mental, you two. Yeah, he is. Yeah, well, one minute you're mucking about and the next you are killing each other. Eh, uh, love and hate, that's all. <laughs> Two sides of the same coin. Uh, and where'd you get that pearl of wisdom, eh? Christmas cracker. So, do you love my dad? I hate him. What sort of a question's that? Straightforward one. Look, shouldn't we just be getting back? She's gonna catch her death. Why won't you answer, Mum? Because I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Oh, well, that'd be a first. Oh, I'm going. You can bring the rest. So what do you think? I think she loves to hate me. Oh, hates herself for loving you. You should go to school more regular. You pass exams with that brain. I'm still confused then. So she. She just needs putting straight, that's all. Come on. Yeah, well, all right, I'll, I'll let Don know and then I'll be straight back up. Um, you wouldn't happen to have a nice bottle of whiskey, would you? You know, something that Chris would like. Another one? Yeah, well. Are you greasing up to him? That's right. There you go. Price. Oh, cheers. Well, come on, Kane. I'm getting cold here. Hold your horses. Can't find them. Can't find what? My keys. Oh, you pillock. I bet you've done this deliberately, haven't you? Don't be so soft. Well, we can go back and look for them, can't we? Where? We've walked for miles. They could be anywhere. Well, don't worry. I've got spurs. Good. Well, at home. Oh, right, well, you better ring Lee. Well, there's no reception, right, is there? Well, you better break in, then. With what? Well, I don't know. You've robbed enough cars in your time, haven't you? You can demonstrate your great skills to her. I'm not breaking into my own car. Kane, we're stranded. No way. Great. I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere with the Chuckle Brothers. Whoa, moody. <laughs> and I don't know what you're laughing at. You can get yourself back up there now and start looking for them. <laughs> See ya. Well, they're definitely not up there. Oh, well, this is hopeless, isn't it? Well, what are we going to do if we can't find them? Well, I don't know. Stay in a hotel or something. Freezing. A hotel? Only till we get picked up. Look, I hold my hands up. Uh, 
It's my fault. I'm sorry. Oh. But we're never going to find them, though. Going to a hotel? Get over time. Huh. No problem. What do you want me to do? Go and fetch charity. Where is she? How do I know? Well, oh, aren't she phoned? Not answering either. Where was she heading? The moron was driving, wasn't he? Well, I can't just drive about. I mean, they could be anywhere. I knew I should have let her go. Well, it's not late. Will they be back soon? She can't even be bothered to ring. Fancy one. Fancy thinking I lost them deliberately. Mm, they're probably in your pocket. That will search me then. Oh, get lost, Kate. You keep a secret. What? I found them keys. Why are you going to tell her? Well, she will give me grief for losing them as if I planned it. You won't say out, will you? No. It's been the best day of my life. Has it? Yeah. And it for you. Yeah. I don't want it to end. Neither do I. Do you fancy a piggyback? <laughs> yeah, Mum! Look at us! You? Yeah, have you got a phone we could use? I'm sorry, I'm afraid the phone's for hotel guests only. Right. Well, I'll be wanting a room as well, then. Well, we are rather heavily booked. Right, OK. Or would you prefer cash? Look, my daughter's really wet and really cold, and we need a place to clean up. Go and phone Lisa and tell her to bring the spare car keys, right? I'll pay for the room now, but we won't be needing it overnight. Yes, well, cash would probably be better. Oh, I'd bet. Seventy-four pounds. Well, go on, get phoning. Got to change. <sighs> it's been nice, this place. Yeah, it's a bit pokey. Yeah, well, they'll lend you dressing gowns and you get free soap and shampoo. Oh, what a fiasco this has been. Yeah, well, don't blame it on my dad. No, well, he can do nothing wrong him, can he? He's been brilliant today. Yeah, well, one day in a whole lifetime isn't much. Yeah, well, you must have thought it was all right once. Maybe. You had a right last thing in that mud. Oh, yeah, my right mud slinger, me. We were just like a family. We were at each other's throats, Debbie. We are a family. Look, you can see him whenever you want. It doesn't mean I have to. Why can't you just let yourself be happy? <sighs> that easy, is it? Yes. Are you happy? Yeah, I am when I'm with you two. The trouble is, you try your eyes not to like anything. Is that what you think? You hardly even laugh. I bet you laughed all the time when you were my dad. Yeah, till I got pregnant. Room service. What are you doing? I've got a sign face to put it on your bill. You letting us in or what? Do you know why I can't trust her? Of course you can trust her. If she loved me, I could. I don't know what you'd call what you and Charity have. Marriage of convenience? Oh, whatever you call it. it you're right for each other, it works. I fooled myself into thinking that isn't love. I mean, what Debbie feels towards Charity, eh? That's not. Well, it's only natural. And so it's natural. If she has to decide between Debbie, me, there's no contest. Look, Kate, just have your drink and go wait downstairs. They might be ages getting here. 
I had to leave a message with Shadrach. He was drunk as a skunk. Chances are, I'll probably forget to tell him. Well, I hope so. It's so cosy, eh? Yeah. I'm going to give you free shampoos and soaps. Might have one of these dressing gowns and all, you know, when we go. Hey, don't you even think about it. Hey, why don't you uh, go and explore this gaff a bit, you know, while we're waiting? Can I, Mum? Do you have to? Yeah. I'll see you later. Well, look, don't go talking to any strangers. Right. Might as well make the most of this heaven-sent opportunity. Don't you dare. Have a shower, that's all. What do you think I meant? It's nice, eh? I could have been in France, but I decided to come here instead with my mum and dad. My parents. That's nice for you. Well, they've had a few problems, been separated. I'm sorry. But the good thing is, mine are getting back together. Well, I hope it works out for you all. Oh, it will, definitely. Chris, it's me. Yeah, where are you? Look, I'm sorry I had no signal on my phone. And then Kane being the stupid idiot he is, he's lost the car keys. What, you'd rather, you'd rather rely on the Dingles to help than me? Yeah, and I'm the one who's stranded. Well, why don't you come and pick us up then? Because I can't. Uh, because I've had too much to drink. Well, it's not my fault. Well, no, no, you get a blasted cab. Oh, look, just forget it, Chris. I'll tell you what, we'll stay over. Because Debbie's whacked out anyway. What? What? Nothing! Just make sure someone picks us up first thing, OK? What are you doing, eh? At least you know she's all right. She must think I'm as green as grass. My phone wouldn't work. Kane lost his keys. It happens. We found ourselves in a little hotel room. Even you haven't bought that. I don't know what you think you're playing at, Kane. I've had a shower. That's all. Just get dressed. Who'd have thought it, eh? You and me like this in an hotel room. It's the stuff dreams are made of. Yeah, well, not mine. Just you stay away from me. I'm not going to try anything, Right, you? we'll get dressed then. I wouldn't do anything you didn't want. Well, it'd be the last thing you ever do. What do you think I am, eh? Right. So why don't you go and get dressed then, eh? Go on. There's a swimming pool. Dad, I wonder who wants to get rid of me. Should I come back later? No, you just stay where you are, cos he's just had a shower, that's all. And now he's going to go and get dressed, and then he's going to go. If he won't pick you up, it's his hard cheese. Oh, just go and ring Lisa and see if she's on her way. Well, Debbie's settled now. Right, OK, well, we'll have to stay then, won't we? Yes. We'll have to get a separate room. I can't afford this. It costs a bomb. Right, well, I'll pay. Oh, you mean Chris will? He'll love that. No, it's on my card, actually. That's what I've always wanted to be a kept man. Oh, just do it. For most of us, our, our first love, I mean, it's... It's like a b distant dream. Well, it's magic. But over. I mean, we move on. She was incapable of doing that. Because she was surrounded by animals who didn't care less. Did you say that? Doesn't take a psychologist. For heaven's sake, she was out selling herself on the street soon after. Uh, I would be surprised if there wasn't still some unfinished business. The thing is, you know, I've got I've got history of my own, and I don't know what for a well whatever reason. I'm the world's worst loser. I've lost too much already. So if I, if I find out that she's doing anything with him, I'll kill her. I, uh, 
I think you've had too much to drink, mate. I'll kill both of them. Look, why don't you get yourself one up to bed, eh? It is the drink talking. Of course it is. Because sober, in the cold light of day, I put on a front. I try and give the impression that I'm supportive to charity, that I want her to build up her relationship with her daughter, even if she has to go off day-tripping with that waster. But I do mind. I actually find the whole notion repugnant. OK. If it is all that terrible, instead of threatening to do this and that, there is another way. If the marriage is torturing you this much, why go on with it? Because she's my wife. Your dad were married to Kim. Uh, don't you think he'd have been better off divorcing her? He'd have been better off killing her. He'd still be here. Maybe you're a too much to drink. I'll yeah. Say. Yeah, well, uh, everything will feel better in the morning. Could you see if the dog needs to go up? Sure. should see it. It's got its own mini bar. What can I get you? No expense spurred, seeing as you're paying. I'm too tired for another set two, all right? Yeah. So I'll have a brandy. Make it extra large. You? I'm losing her, Terry. There's nothing I can do. Look, Kane, you better get going. What? Well, you can't stay in here, can you? She's asleep. Yeah, well, this isn't about her. Well, why then? Because nothing's changed, that's why. Hasn't it? Don't do this to me. Come through to mine. She won't know. No. What difference will it make? It'll make all the difference. Especially to her. See you in the morning. Yeah. You sure you don't want me to stop over? You won't do out daft, will you? No, I've done that already. 
too many times. Right, well, uh, give us a bell if... No. I was dreaming. No, you're not dreaming. God. So, can I have my hand back? No. Never. <laughs> <laughs> 